Welcome to the AVT Simulation Training Center. Here, we train warfighters, contractors, and students alike on the ins and outs of the modeling, simulation, and training industry. Today, we'll be discussing extended reality. Extended reality is an umbrella term that refers to the spectrum of the virtual continuum, meaning all real and virtual combined environments are included. These environments are augmented reality, augmented virtuality, cross-reality, and mixed reality. Virtual reality is also included in XR at the very end of the spectrum. Reality itself, however, is not included in extended reality, which, of course, is at the opposite end. Firstly, the X in XR does not stand for extended, but rather is a variable, meaning it can be interchanged. This allows the X in XR to stand for virtual, augmented, crossed, and so on. We'll begin with virtual reality. VR is a widespread term, often misused. It is a fully immersive experience composed entirely of computer-generated environments or 360-degree videos. So, virtual reality can only be programs that completely change the environment around the user using sensory stimulators like sights and sounds. This is when you feel a part of the virtual world. This can be accomplished by using headsets known as head-mounted displays or HMD. The HMD have small OLED or LCD monitors in front of the eyes for rendering stereoscopic graphics and binaural audio systems. This simply means audio and video can be projected to both of your eyes and your ears. VR technology allows the user to see a 3D view and hear with depth and directionality. The HMD also obtained positional and rotational real-time head tracking for six degrees of freedom, allowing the user to turn their head to look around the virtual space that they are in. Some VR even have motion controls to allow for movement within the world. Motion controls can be used with handheld controllers like Oculus, but more immersive systems have omnidirectional treadmills with waist supports. This lets users walk or run in real life as well as the virtual world without falling or getting tangled with cords from discombobulation and constant repositioning. Augmented reality is different in that it is not a completely immersive virtual experience. It is the merging of the real and virtual worlds with additive or destructive overlaid sensory. The purpose is to enhance or alter the real world rather than simply replace it like virtual reality does. Virtual objects or displays lay over the real world with positional tracking, typically through an HMD. Alternatively, augmented virtuality is the addition of real-world objects to a virtual environment. Now on to mixed reality. And mixed reality is where things start getting a little confusing. Currently, in the modern ms and industry, MR is used to refer to augmented virtuality. However, its original definition is a bit different. While MR includes AV, Mixed reality is really a spectrum between VR and the real world. As Milgram and Cascino put it, mixed reality is anywhere between the extrema of the virtual continuum, meaning mixed reality is any form of XR that is a merging or integration of real and virtual environments. This includes AR, AV, and cross-reality. Mixed reality is different than virtual reality in that MR has occlusion and integration. Occlusion lets virtual objects be obscured by real objects for AV and vice versa for AR, of course. Occlusion allows the virtual environment to be integrated with the real world rather than the virtual world like VR. Integration refers to mixed reality also including tangible objects integrated into the system for a more realistic experience. These tangible objects are part of the real world. Using integration, real and virtual objects interact with one another through the user. Integration is what makes the difference between AR or AV and cross-reality. There's enough here to go on for hours, but we here at AVT Simulation like to keep things short and sweet. 
If you learned something new and want more, check out our other videos or even our blog at avtsim.com. Or take the leap towards your future and sign up for the AVT Simulation Training Center today at trainingcenter.avtsim.com. Thanks for training with us and stay tuned for what's next.